Hey, it's Ryan and Betsy, and welcome to Palmetto Dunes here at the Robert Trent Jones Clubhouse. Uh, today, we are here with Stephen Vega on another episode of Building the Low Country. So, Stephen is the Vice President with Low Country Pavers. Thanks for yeah, being here today absolutely. with us. And so, what are we doing here? Because there's yeah. a lot going on around here. There's a ton going on, yeah. right? So, ton of site construction. Robert Trent Jones is updating all of their parking. They're really revitalizing and beautifying this new space. They're trying to update their clubhouse here. They're featuring our permeable pavers. Okay. So that's what we're at here to talk about. So permeable pavers are a system of pavers and it's a way you install pavers so that it reduces stormwater runoff. So we live on the coast, right? We know it rains a lot. We get a lot of water that runs through our yards. It goes to the streets, it ends up in the rivers. Yeah. So the idea and the goal of a permeable paver system is to limit that runoff so that we capture the water where it falls, where it actually rains and so that it can rejoin the soil. So that's what we're here to showcase. Okay. And the interesting thing about today is that it it's not raining right this second, right. but it has been raining a lot. On and off all day. Yeah. yeah. And so and we're looking and there's no standing water. No standing water. Right. right. That that is the ideal scenario for a permeable paver system. That's how we know it works. If we don't see standing water, we know we're in a good spot. So how the system is built out is you're gonna have layers of large grade rock, which we're gonna show you here in a minute. Right. And that acts as a reservoir. So the paver goes on top of that system, and as the water falls, you guys can see the joints here. The water will go through the joints, and then it's stored underneath. And then what that allows that to do is it allows the water to rejoin the soil and be dissipated naturally, so that we don't have to route it to a sewer. We don't have to route it to a stormwater pond. It can just drain into the soil so naturally. So we're not putting extra stress on any right, of those drains. Right. Yeah, yeah okay. absolutely. And we know coastal flooding is a big issue. Right. We know we're, lim we're limited on the amount of space we have on this island and in Bluffton to develop. So permeable pavers allow for opportunity to us to develop more land while having a product that allows people to park, to drive, and it's a beautiful finish too. So we're very excited to showcase these style of products. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, as a contractor, this is something we come into a lot in a lot of the different neighborhoods we work in, where if we're gonna do an addition, we have to trade space basically on the land, right. where it yep. still now has to be permeable space. What was once dirt, well, we have to take up some of your driveway pad, for example, and we do that trade off. So this exactly. is a great product to do that yeah. with. Say you have a homeowner that wants to build a pool. Well, that pool is gonna count against your land use, right? So that's considered an impervious surface, meaning water can't go through it. To offset that, you can use a permeable paver on your patio, pool deck, or driveway, and now you can build a bigger pool. Right. You can build a pool house. You can add uh, another building. If you're a commercial property, think about the opportunity that is. Now you have another cash flowing opportunity for a new building, right? right. So there's a lot of opportunity when you utilize a product like yeah. this. Well, yeah. and it's interesting, you obviously you just mentioned both of you, that it's not just commercial usage, it's residential oh. usage as well. Yeah, we do a ton of driveways specifically here in Palmetto Dunes. A lot of the new construction you'll find, they're requiring these. Um, and so we, we've done quite a bit as far as supplying them on residential builds as well. Yeah, absolutely. Well, so we're going to go take a look at some big piles of rocks. Yeah, I think, yeah let's right? go do that. Let's yeah, do absolutely. <laughs> All right, Stephen, we're over at your collection of rocks. Tell me about yes. these rocks. Yeah. And you'd be surprised. I don't have many rocks here because they're all underneath here. That's a lot of rocks. That's a lot of rocks. Yes. There's more under here. Okay. But that's what adds to the permeability of the system, right? So if we take a look over here, this product of rock, this is a 57 stone, so a multiple size gradient of granite rocks. These build up the bulk of the base. So underneath these pavers, you have, you know, anywhere between six to 10 inches of this product compacted. And then what happens is as they compact, there's still voids there. So then when it rains, the water can go and fill up the voids so that this can act as a storage system, okay? And then on top of that, you have this other gradient. So this is an 89 stone. Again, multiple sizings, but this will build up that layer that you actually lay your pavers on. So you have about an inch or two inches of this, and then you can pack this, you level it out, you put your pavers right on top. And then you actually, if you look in the joints here, that's the same rock that you sweep into the joints. And then again, as it rains, as you've, you know, kind of saw earlier, and as you're seeing now, it's gonna rain, and the water's just gonna go right through the joints. And you're not gonna have any standing water. All that water's gonna go into the reservoir base. It's gonna stay there until it drains and it is absorbed into the soil and it'll leach out into our natural water table. Cool. Excellent. Well, yeah. who knew that pavers could be so interesting? Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Thank you so much for sharing this entire process with us. Yeah, it was really thank great. You. Thanks so yeah. much.